part of what I do on this channel is to go on Chinese social media and find good stuff and bad stuff. Recently, through my explorations, I've compiled a list of Bullshido channels. One of these Bullshido channels was teaching how to defend against a grab of the shirt or grab with a collar. And that's what started this exploration, this unexpected journey. So check out this technique. She downward elbows. Look at that, a 12 to 6 elbow. So we're going to test this defense. And of course, doesn't seem to work. This is a shish, by the way, my neighbor that does Muay Thai. So I'm just grabbing his shirt, not even too tight. And he's trying various ways of downward elbowing. I'm telling him, hey, why not try that one? So you see, he's even trying to stomp down. And here I try. I try the bicep. He says, no. I try to get more of the forearm, you see. Still no. So obviously this bullshito doesn't seem to work. So at this point, we could totally just call it, or since I have a sheesh there, we decided let's explore how to make this work. And a lot of you have requested that. Instead of just talking about bullshito, why don't you explore, explain how you could make a similar technique or a different technique work? So that's what we started doing. So now a sheesh tries to go in a more lateral direction and immediately you see that it's working. So you see that? It's looking almost like a karate block. You notice know, Karate American Kempo, Kaji Kempo, they have a block like this. So I'm telling them, this is exactly like the inside block from Karate. So I do it, see? Forearm against forearm. And so now Ashish is trying more, almost like a downward block. You see that? Seems to work. I'm telling him, it's like a downward block from Karate. So you see that? Just commit to that downward block. See how easy it becomes? I said, hey, try it on me now. So that doesn't work. I'm trying that 12 to 6 elbow again. But watch what I do. See that? So I'm doing another blocking motion that you have in Kung Fu, Karate, etc. Watch the close-up. Inside block. Downward block. Almost effortless. And that's an inside block or it's a boat cut water from Bokator. Shoot it out and forward and I fishtail my hand. Oh. So when they do two, it's like... If I hit you with an elbow mm -hmm. like that, yeah. like, that can hurt. That right? can hurt, But yeah. feel this. So again, people might have learned this from karate or kung fu, but I learned this from Bokator. So I hope you like this exploration. I think what we're discovering more and more as we explore beyond just the standard MMA paradigm is how much there is to incorporate and learn into your martial arts journey. I think it's no secret if you watch my channel, I would be the first to say that there's a lot more than just what you see in the ring or in the cage in the UFC. We didn't make this video seeking to test anything karate. It's just in a situation like that, when someone's either grabbing your neck or grabbing your shirt and you don't want to grapple them, it seems like certain techniques from karate, American Kempo, Kung Fu, even Bokator might really, really be the most effective if you want to disengage and go away or disengage and do something else. So I hope this encourages all of you guys to explore stuff, test it out in a safe environment. And to all my karate, American Kempo, Kung Fu, Bokator people, send us more tips. Send us more techniques to try. Okay, shout out Ashish, and thank you guys so much for everything. We will talk soon.